How's she going boys? Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. We're going to start a project today uh, on my table saw. Here's my table saw. Right here. Hard to see it there. It's a King Industrial uh, 10 inch cabinet table saw. Anyway, the problem that I'm having with it is uh, I think the bearings are going bad either in the uh, the drive at the trunnion or in the motor itself. So my project is going to be to strip this saw apart and inspect the bearings. It's going to be a big one. Uh, the motor is located. Let me get down in here and see if I can show you. Uh, down underneath here, on the right hand side of the saw, we unhook this. Sort of like that, and that opens and exposes the motor. Uh, as you see, uh, things are cramped in there, uh, so I have to move a bunch of junk in back there. And as I back away again, this tabletop right here, or this table extension, I think I'm going to have to take that off, so my whole body can get down in there and reach it around, see what's going on. Plus. The insert, I have to take the insert out so I can look at the trunnion. And you know what? It might not be a bad idea when I'm doing all this to have a really good look at the saw to see if I can figure out uh, how to make it a little bit more dust tight. Because as you see down here, it's supposed to be a, a cabinet saw and clean. And I do have a dust collection unit, but man. The sawdust just goes everywhere when I'm cutting on it. So anyhow, I think I got a lot of work. I'm gonna have to strip her down. I may as well do that. Strip her down while I'm at it. And another thing, she's unplugged. There's the plug. So uh, we got to be safe. Okay, we'll see what happens next. So. Uh, the saw is meant for cutting wood, not working on, that's for sure. Down in here, don't know whether you can see it too good or not, but uh, fan belts or drive belts go on the trunnion down to the motor. They were, well, tough to remove. And if you can see anything in here at all, you can see the motor is hung on the trunnion and mainly hung with this shaft right here, if you can see it, pointing at it right there. Sorry for the pictures, but that shaft appears to be seized in the trunnion, and that motor weighs, I don't know, 30 pounds, and it looks like I'm going to have to have to take the wings off the saw, and I'll take this wing off too, because then I have to lift the main table, I'm thinking, right out of the saw, and that involves taking the switch off, taking the... Uh, adjustment wheel off, taking the, the angle wheel off, oh man, just poison, but that's why we get paid the big bucks. Uh, I was working here, trying to get the uh, motor off the saw, and it's a real pain, the, the pin that this pivots on, uh, when you try to drive it out to get the motor off, it runs against the, uh, the gear for raising and lowering the blade. So you can't get the pin out. That's what that boils down to. So then I said, oh, now I'm going to have to go and take the top off the table. I didn't want to do that because it messes up the uh, alignment of your saw uh, for right angle cuts and whatnot. Anyway, I'm going to have to do a whole complete alignment and setup of the saw. So I guess I needed to do that. But anyway, it turns out the top of the table, uh, just there's four, four bolts folded on in each corner and uh, it comes right off. So, like here's my tabletop over here. Look at that. So here I was trying to get the motor and everything out. Figured if I took the tabletop off, the motor and the trunnions and everything were going to come with it. And I was going to have to have two men and a Newfoundland dog here to help me. But uh, the top just lifted right off. Piece of cake. So now, if I can get out my belts, right easy. And uh, it should be a lot easier. I'll just take those Trunnion nuts and, or trunnion bolts right off of there 
lift the whole thing out with the motor attached and then take the motor off and then I'll be able to check the bearings in the motor. Uh, just as a preliminary though, I can spin, you, uh, you will probably won't be seeing anything in here, maybe from this side. I can spin the motor shaft. And uh, you can't hear that, but you can hear a high pitch whine coming out of it. But this trunnion bearing, oh baby, that's like driving down our lake road in the Honda ATV with no suspension. She's rough. So I'm going to have to get new bearings in there. In there. Can you see that? In there. For sure. Uh, not sure about the motor. I'll take the motor off and clean that up a little. And we'll see what transpires from that. But yeah, she needs bearings. And uh, it's dirty. So when I put it back together, I'm going to clean it all up. And hopefully, see what I can do to make it a little bit more dust tight. But like I said earlier, it cuts wood good. But it's a hard old son of a gun to work on. Well, sir, look at that. What a beast. Anyway, aside from the fact of it being dirty, filled with sawdust, and hard as anything to work on, there is my table saw all tore apart. They never ever cut wood again. And there's the motor. And when I spin that shaft, you know what? That doesn't sound terrible. And like I showed you before, this trunnion. Oh baby. Yeah. Toast. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, first step before I even start to clean things up. I'm gonna try and get the bearings, get at the bearings on this trunnion. So that's what I'm going to do next. All right, look what we got here. This is the trunnion. Uh, the bearings were located in there and in there. And here are the bearings. They're uh, pretty common bearings, 6203, shielded. Uh, the shield had come out of this front one. Well, the front one, I guess it would be, I don't know what side you're looking at. And uh, that one, you know, doesn't feel that bad. And it came out uh, of its seat pretty slick too. So, uh, you know, if I was stuck, I'd reuse that. The, I'm going to call it the inside bearing. Look, I can't hardly even turn that. And it was poison trying to get that off the trunnion shaft. So, two 6203 bearings shielded. That's what I need. Uh, let's go to town to get those and that's a track and a half so uh, this video is going to be put on hold until I can get to town buy some parts uh, over here now uh, there's uh, this is the uh, screw adjustment for adjusting the height uh, or the angle of the saw blade uh, that was a little bit uh, stiff by times to turn Whoops, we like So I'm going to have a look at that too while I have everything apart. I think there's just bushings in here because that's too small to have a bearing. I think there's just bushings. I see there's a thrust bearing right there. So I'll take that apart and clean it and uh, lubricate it, and that should make that better. Now, this beast right here, this is. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but this is the mechanism here for raising and lowering the blade. Uh, this screw turns, hmm, where is it, oh, right here on the trunnion. This the trunnion mounted, if you can see this. Well, anyway, you get the picture. Uh, this uh, gear on the trunnion ran in this screw feed and as you turn this it would raise and lower uh, the blade. Okay, uh, so that's hard to turn. In fact, if I get this up here, like I can turn it with my fingers but there's a stiff spot in it. And again, I'm sure there's just bushings in there. 
uh, I don't even see any kind of a thrust bearing in that so that's probably just dirt and then this hanger here that the motor hangs on is just mounted on a shaft so I'm going to try and get that shaft out and that's a big honking shaft right there uh, I'm not sure if I'd be able to get that out or whether it'd be worth it if I clean it up we'll just see how lubricated that is as lubrication I think is what we need that's another thing I can get when I'm in town is lubricate lubricant for it because where it's very very dusty you don't want to put oil on it because it'll just hold the sawdust even worse than it is right now same as these uh, trunnions right here uh, oops <laughs> these trunnions right here uh, I'm gonna have to clean those well well and put a nice lubricant on them because those trunnions run in these I don't know what you call them rabbits I guess and there is uh, signs of grease on that I had this saw apart probably four years ago and greased that up uh, so I'm going to try and find something uh, a greaseless grease <laughs> I'll have to develop or invent that I guess but anyhow that's the state of affairs right now uh, I haven't done much to the motor yet because I was just getting at my bearings but really that motor I've uh, I've had worse motors worse feeling bearings than that that doesn't feel too bad so I'll just clean up the motor replace those bearings and but before I go to town I'll check into this why that's stiff and what I can do with this clean up that thrust bearing and that ought to be it and then all I have to do <coughs> put it back together which should be a piece of cake you just do what I did getting it apart except backwards okay talk to you